Good morning, YouTube. Last week on October 11th, Razer, the well-known gaming hardware company, teased us with this tweet. Watch for our biggest unveiling. Coming soon, November 1st. So it looks like on November 1st, Razer is gonna have their biggest unveiling yet. What is it? Well, thanks to countless internet leaks, we know exactly what it is. We know it's a smartphone. Specifically, a pretty high-end Android smartphone. We also now have a pretty good idea of what it's gonna look like and most of the main specs of this new phone. This is the first picture that leaked and we can start to get a sense of what this phone looks like. In the photo, we can see a smartphone with squarish edges and what looks like little round volume buttons. The design of this phone looks very much like, like this guy. The Nextbit Robin. You see, in January of this year, Razer acquired Nextbit, the company that made the Robin. So that means the new Razer phone is gonna be a direct descendant of the Nextbit Robin. And that is a big part of why I'm excited about this new Razer phone. You see, the Nextbit Robin was one of my favorite phones of 2016. The industrial design is fantastic. It is a gorgeous design that looks like nothing else on the market. I really loved using this phone. Good camera, good display, stereo speakers, fast charging, and nearly stock Android. I especially love how they hid the fingerprint sensor on the power button. You cannot even tell by looking at it that it's not just a normal plastic button. So all the leaked specs suggest that on November 1st, Razer is gonna unveil a new high-end flagship Android phone. The phone will feature a Snapdragon 835 CPU, similar to uh, the S8 in many markets and the OnePlus 5, eight gigabytes of RAM, like the high-end OnePlus 5, the Adreno 540 GPU, again, similar to the S8 and the OnePlus 5. 64 gig gigabytes of onboard storage. I suspect uh, Razer will offer cloud, uh, automatic cloud storage, like similar to what Nextbit offered. A 5.7 inch 2K display. So this display looks definitely uh, upgraded from a OnePlus 5 display, which is a five and a half inch 1080p display. We also get 12 megapixel dual rear cameras and eight megapixel front cameras. No word on wireless charging or waterproofing or anything like that. So probably we're not gonna see those features. The main thing we do not know yet is how big the battery is going to be. The OnePlus 5, which has similar specs and a lesser display, comes with a 3300 milliamp hour battery. Let's hope the Razer comes with more than 3300 because it likely needs more than 3300 just to match the battery life of the OnePlus 5 because of the higher resolution display for one. The OnePlus 5 doesn't even have like super great battery life, but thankfully it charges very, very quickly, faster than any other phone, so it's fun. We also don't know the price of the phone, what markets it's gonna launch in, whether there's gonna be any carrier support, and I'm of course very curious if there's gonna be optical image stabilization. I'm certain the price of the Razer phone will be higher than the price of a OnePlus 5. A OnePlus 5 is now 539 US dollars, so if this thing's $100 more, $640, that'd be pretty good. $200 more is starting to, I mean, we don't know if there's any other features that are far better than OnePlus 5, but from what we know, if it's $200 more, hmm, that's where it's starting to get a little, the value proposition is not as good. If it's more than $200 more than a OnePlus 5, then that would seem to me way too expensive. So let's hope it comes under 700 and that, it should be in that 600 to 700, that would be awesome. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to November 1st to see what Razer has in store for us. And I'm eager to see if this actually becomes a successful product for Razer. After all, the more high-end Android phones that are available in the market, the better it is for all of us consumers. So, are you excited about the new Razer phone? Do you think it has any chance to succeed in this like hyper-competitive smartphone marketplace? Do you think you're gonna be spotting Razer phones out in the wild? Let me know in the comments. Okay, like and sub for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.